Well, right now, parents have the task of caring for their kids at home while we're all trying to stay at home. And that also comes along with teaching them, too. Well, maybe it's starting to drive you a little crazy. There is some help that you can turn to. Joining us via Skype is Steve Hartman with CBS Evening News to talk more about his online class for kids. It's called Kindness 101. Good morning, Steve. So glad to have you with us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, so what did, what did you want to um, accomplish with starting Kindness 101, the class? And, and was it particularly during the coronavirus outbreak, or did you have plans to do this even before this? Well, I, I've learned anecdotally that thousands of teachers across the country use our on-the-road stories as part of their character education program. So that when the coronavirus epidemic kicked in, I thought of that. I thought there were probably two things that the country needed now more than ever, and that was kindness and babysitting. So my class offers both. <laughs> and the lessons, uh, what is it that you really are hoping that those who are tuning in take away from Kindness 101? The comments are phenomenal. I've been watching the last two days, but what is it that you really want uh, people to get out of it, kids and adults? Well, for the kids, mostly what I want is... Um, I'm of the belief that, you know, when kids leave elementary school, that it doesn't matter so much if they know all their state capitals as much as that they're good people. Um, I think everything else falls into place if you have good, strong character. You know, business will come your way and you'll find success. So that's what I want the, the kids to get from it. Um, this is just a perfect opportunity for me to spread that message what, because kids are ho at home and they don't have regular classes, so I'm, I'm more than willing to fill in. And, and for the parents who are tuning in, um, and I know there's a lot more than we thought there would be. This was supposed <laughs> to be for kids, but we're getting a lot of adults tuning in, too. I just want them to enjoy the stories and, and maybe have a few happy tears. That's, I think, one of the greatest human emotions, happy tears, and, and I can promise those every day. And you know, it's funny, I, I think what's so wonderful about uh, not only your stories, your on the road stories, but just your, your Kindness 101 Facebook time is, are, are your kids because it's so real. It's just we're in your home, we're meeting your children. Meryl is helping you hold up your signs. She's explaining what happy tears are and what loveys are, little, little stuffed animals that, you know, keep us comforted. And uh, did you think that it would catch on like this? Because the response has really been phenomenal. No, I had, I had no idea that we would get this many people tuning in. I certainly had no idea that my daughter would become an overnight celebrity. <laughs> She's <laughs> she adorable. She's supposed to just be there holding up the little signs that we need, the props. Uh, but you can see her there. She's nodding along, and she's she's adding her two cents. Um, she's kind of take she's taken over. Um, it's like Ed, Ed McMahon came in and took over the Tonight Show. Um, but that but that's okay. <laughs> All she needs is that that big hat that Ed always wore with the the big genie hat. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> who ins who inspires you to be more kind? And and what's the one takeaway that you would want to tell everybody about kindness in general? Uh, the people I interview inspire me. Uh, we joke that we never interview, interview anybody that's not a better person than we are. So we're traveling the country trying to find the very best Americans. And I think what I want people to take away from all of our stories is that people are good. I think sometimes we want to compartmentalize people, Democrats, Republicans, good, bad, however you want to do it. Um, but people are good. They are just good. Yeah. Well, we're seeing that, and we love your on-the-road stories, and it's so nice to visit them again, and we never, ever get tired of them. You can catch Steve's Kindness 101 class on the CBS Evening News Facebook page all this week at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Be sure to tune in to his on-the-road segment airing this Friday on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell right here on Channel 8. Steve, thank you so much for being live with us early this morning, and we'll look for you on Facebook and all the kiddos as well. Thanks for all your kindness lessons. We learned so much from you. Thank you very much.